Hello everyone, and welcome to AMZ's Corner. I got something a little old and a little different here. Got a pair of uh, Moto Bicane 50 Vs, also known as the Mobilettes, also known as Mobies. Neat old bikes. Uh, I got both of these for, uh, I think I paid 60 bucks for the pair, which is a steal. Uh, I never would have let them go this cheap. Um, I've had I've had quite a few of these. I've had more than I can count. I know I made uh, I made about 12 of, of blue these blue ones. I uh, would chop the fender, put a different front end on it, tune up the motor. Uh, I had different motor variants, but I'd, uh, I made 12 or maybe it was 13 hot rod versions. Uh, 12 blue ones, and I made one uh, yellow hardtail 40T version of these bikes into a hot rod. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, this one here is an older one. This is a 77 or 76, 77. Uh, this is the older variant. Uh, you can tell by the placement of the horn that this is an older one. It also has a charging. I think this was for the, uh, the charging system, or maybe that was a a dimmer for the lights. I don't remember what it was. I, I never really got into building the older version, this version of the bike. I would just update it with the later electrics that would come on. This this here being a, a 79, I think. Let's see. Yeah, 79. And uh, this is probably one of the more complete bikes I've ever gotten, actually. Uh, these, uh, these side covers here, let me show you on this side. And it's got both its original side covers. 90% uh, of the time, these side covers were taken off. And I'm, I'm sure with the best intention to clean the carburetor and throw them on. But um, my guess is people would get them running and just drive it and forget to put them on. And then they would get lost or thrown away. But I think I've only had two sets of those. I had another bike with a set. And that's the only other time I've had those covers. Also, this, uh, this plastic flywheel cover. These can be kind of hard to get a hold of. Uh, I've only had a few of those too. But um, we'll actually pull this off so we can see what it looks like in here. All right. And there it is. You know, you got your, your little pedal sprocket. You got the Gertner carburetor. Uh, pretty much all of these had a, a 10 millimeter bore on the carburetors. Um, there's a few little tricks you can do to the carburetor. There isn't much. There's really no jet availability. Um, you got to like ream, ream the, the jets out yourself to get what you need for, uh, for fuel air ratio. But uh, that being said, uh, I have made a stock engine on one of my hot rod bikes hit 50 with this carburetor. Uh, you do some porting to the engine. You match the, the intake manifold there to the the port and there's some stuff you do to the transfers and then uh, there's some stuff you can do to the stock heads and uh, you can bring the compression ratio up uh, you can change t uh, port timing events and stuff and uh, I was able to hit 50 with all stock components uh, modified of course even the stock exhaust uh, you can see any of you Moto BKN guys are going to know what someone was trying to do here with this the problem with this bike oh, let me get my flashlight Now the problem with this bike is kind of common with these is the threads. Let's see if this will show up for me here. The threads in the exhaust always strip out. You know, it's got it's got one bung, big bung, and it's got a big area. Now if this loosens up while you're riding, it can mash these threads. My guess is that's what happened. Uh, the gasket probably got crushed a little more than it's supposed to when it took those threads right out. Luckily, this one here, I've already been doing a little pulling on it. I pulled the motor just to see what we had inside of it. And I got it apart over here. We can see some stuff going on. Uh, yeah. Here we can see these threads on this cylinder. Let's see if it'll focus. Yeah, see these threads are in decent shape. So those are serviceable. This cylinder here, it's dirty, but it's in good shape. No scratches. You know, no, uh, no real issues going on inside. Just a little dirty from 
from pulling it apart. You know, I got some good rings, some good, I like to reuse. I mean, I could probably find these new, but I think I'm going to just run those. Uh, it doesn't look like this, this engine had a lot of miles on it. It's hard to, it's hard to film and look through the camera. Yeah, I got a good bottom end here, except for this. Uh, I don't know if the, there's a cam that should go on here, um, and they're notorious for slipping. So I think this crank, I don't know if I'm ever going to, I'm going to try to save that crank. But I'll use the top end, I'll save this bottom end for parts. Um, I've been through the variators, these are how these shift. This one's frozen, I was hoping it would have had a four ball. Uh, with a four ball you can take two balls out and it makes a makes a higher revving engine. Um, so my plan for these is I think I'm just going to fix this one up as original as I can, just leave it that way. Uh, it says it's pretty complete, I'd like to just, you know, keep it as complete. Uh, things I don't have, if any of my moped guys out there are watching this, uh, I need a bezel, a headlight bezel, because it looks like neither bike has one for whatever reason, and I don't have a stock exhaust. I, I used to have boxes of them, I used to have crates of parts for these bikes, but uh, stuff happens and stuff gets lost and moves or sold off because I didn't think I'd have one for a long time, so I need, a, I need an exhaust and I need a headlight bezel. If anybody wants to, wants to send me a, a PM, a message, or leave a comment below, I'd, uh, I'd love to buy those two parts local. Uh, up here in northern Massachusetts. So if anybody's got those two pieces local, I'll, uh, I'll come buy them off you. Uh, my plan for this bike here for now is just going to be for parts to get that one in nice shape. But eventually I might actually turn this into an off-road version. Um, they actually, Moto became made an off-road version of this bike. Uh, it's been a while since I've looked into it. I don't remember what it's called. Maybe I'll leave a little a little note right here on my my finger yeah um, so yeah I'd like to have an off-road bike there's a lot of trails around here where if you take a bigger bike people are gonna complain but if you got something quiet that you can shut off and pedal you know you can talk yourself out of a lot of situations if you can pedal it well providing it's registered and it looks like uh, speaking of registered looks like the last time this was on the road was in 1990 and a few times before that and then this one here looks like uh, looks like 1992 or 1990 also I should say. And uh, another thing that's complete on this bike is I believe I haven't even opened this yet. I figured I'd save this for for the video here. Let's uh, let's see what's in this thing. Sometimes these are neat little time capsules in here. Let's see what kind of time capsule we've got. I see a spark plug, I see a spoke tool or whatever that tool that comes with these. Let's, uh, let's see what's in there. Oh, neat. I like these. The original Moto Bikane spark plug tool. Uh, because there's not a lot of room between the top of the spark plug. Oh look, this thing even has its original original bicycle pump. How neat is that? Uh, like I was saying, because there's no room from the frame to the top of the spark plug, you kind of need a special tool. You can't just use a regular run-of-the-mill plug socket. You gotta use something low profile. So that's kind of neat. I don't know why we'd have wood screws in there. It's a lot of wood screws. We got this little tool. Um, what is this? A, a, a tire changer tool? I've never been able to figure out exactly what that is. But it's part of the original Motor Bikane tool kit. And then, of course, two stroke, you're going to have your extra spark plugs and. Looks like some hardware. Oh, these are for screws. Looks like some sort of canvas screw system. I don't know why that would all be there, but nothing fancy. There's the little stash box where it all goes. So, uh, I think for the rest of today, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this motor off and get this motor up on the bench. Um, 
I'm not going to spend a lot of time. Probably not going to pull it apart. I'm here a little later than I wanted to be. So uh, maybe we'll do we'll do uh, Moby Sundays, Moto Bikane Sundays. Well, maybe I'll call that the series. Moto Bikane Sunday sounds good. Uh, until the Sonic gets back and takes up the Sunday time. So uh, I'm going to get cracking on pulling this engine. And uh, until then, guys, keep it out of the cabbage. <laughs>